What is going on everybody? <laughs> and welcome back to another video with Crisley Bear. Today we're going to be saying goodbye to the Season 2 Battle Pass for Fortnite Battle Royale and we're going to be welcoming with open arms the Season 3 Battle Pass. So we're going to be talking about everything that it offers and is it worth getting or is it not worth getting. With a quick flashback to the Season 2 Battle Pass, it gave us everything from emotes to dances to pickaxes, skins, and gliders, and we loved it. Season 2, you were great. Your medieval knight theme was phenomenal. It gave us one of the best skins, in my opinion, which is the Black Knight, and I love it, and we wave to you goodbye. So long, Battle Pass 2. Goodbye. So let's jump into what Season 3 has to offer us. So, you will be greeted once you join Fortnite Battle Royale with this message if you had previously bought Season 2. It says, Battle Promise. As a special thanks for buying the Season 2 Battle Pass, you'll start Season 3 off with 5 free tiers. Which I think that's really cool for Epic to do. Kind of like a thank you for, you know, helping support them during the last season. So, good job on that Epic. I really like that. So, that puts you 5 tiers ahead. Next, we'll talk price. The Season 3 Battle Pass will cost 950 V-Bucks or they have an option to get the battle bundle which will cost 2800 V-Bucks and it will give you a 25 tier bonus. So let's talk about what the Season 3 Battle Pass will give you. So when you first go to the Battle Pass option on Fortnite Battle Royale, you will be greeted with this screen. Like I said earlier, if you bought the Season 2 Battle Pass, you'll get 5 tiers ahead. I have played one game so far, two games so far, sorry I got disconnected from the first one, but my second game I did get a victory royale, so that was pretty lit. So you'll be greeted with this, you get the astronaut costume, and you'll get five tiers ahead, which actually puts you at tier six since you start off at tier one, and they give you five. So you get these pretty cool things, you get 100 V-Bucks, you get this little emoji right here, this little emoticon, sorry. Then they have this new thing with loading screens, you can set your loading screen so when you're loading the game, you actually get to look at something different which I think is pretty cool the first new harvesting tool they give you is the sawtooth and I have that one that's actually it's pretty cool so next we have more you know little emoji emojis little emoticons then we have other stuff you know we got the salute icon or emote I apologize we have another loading screen got some more you know banners here's some more uh, emojis we have the first glider, which is the rainbow glider, which I think pairs with that uh, the one skin previously that has the girl with the unicorns and stuff on it. Going on, we have the paw, we have some more, you know, XP things, more V-Bucks, another emoji, more V-Bucks, and we have our first skydiving trail. These are brand new, ladies and gentlemen. These are actually effects when you jump into the game and you're actually diving down onto the, uh, the island. These will trail off you, which I think is really cool. So the first one is a rainbow effect. Then next we have more. And then here's the uh, backpack bling, they call it. So you can actually put these on the back of any skin you want. So you can like mix and match. So that thing is really cool. And our next outfit, which I think is super cool, is called Rust Lord, which is kind of a, uh, a playoff of Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, we keep going on, we have more, you know, emojis, more banners, more V-Bucks, and here comes our next loading screen, which is the Tactical Shotgun. I think it's super cool. We keep moving on. We have another, we have a bush emoji, we have another loading screen, which is the classic one, I think. Then here, check this dance out. Yes, so it's called Take the L, and I think people are going to abuse this. This is going to be so cool. And if you listen closely, correct me if I'm wrong, leave you know, a comment down below, but I think this is the song that Pennywise, the clown from the movie It, like, you know, dances to in that one scene. Um, it's it's pretty creepy, pretty fitting, but I, th I, I like it. So moving on, we have more XP, we have more V-Bucks, more banners, and now we have our another skydiving trail, which is the Ultramarine. This thing is pretty cool. See, we have like a blue streak coming behind us. Awesome. More emojis more banners and then next we have our next glider which is the carbon glider this thing's actually pretty cool i do like this we keep progressing forward and we have more banners more emojis more v bucks look at this and we have another loading screen the bright unicorn but it's actually like a pinata or it's, it's, it's not the pinata it's the llama pinata unicorn you guys know what i'm talking about it's from like save the world then we have another one 
This is the harvesting tool that you actually can get if you don't get the battle pass. This is actually like the free to play one. So I think that's pretty cool that they give this to you. Uh, if you just progress through, you have to get to tier 46. So you have to play quite a bit. Next, we have another backpack bling, which is the astronaut one, which is the one that actually goes with the astronaut costumes. Keep going forward, another uh, emoji. And here's another skydiving trail, which I think is super cool. This is the star one, the all-star one. Pretty cool. We have more V-Bucks. You have HP, you know, emoji, one HP. I know I, I get to that point a lot. So that actually, I might use that emoji quite a bit. More emojis, more XP, more banners. And here is the female version of the astronaut costume, which is the all-white called the Moonwalker. I think it's really cool. So you keep going, more emojis, more V-Bucks. Another loading screen, which is the minigun, which super cool in my opinion. Then we have the best mates. This one, <laughs> this dance is hilarious. This I saw this on like those memes or, or the videos you see at Comic-Con, all the Spider-Man uh, costumes are like, you know, all the people in Spider-Man costumes like follow each other doing this dance. I think this is hilarious. Another uh, emote that I can't wait to use. Keep going. We have more uh, emojis. We have more banners, more V-Bucks. Another skydiving trail, which is the bubbles, which I think is hilarious. This is pretty cool. Keep going. More XP. And at tier 70, you get the Dark Voyager. I think this guy looks so, so cool. I cannot wait to get him. He's, he's like the Black Knight of the Astronaut. You know, it's so cool. Then we have the uh, Dark Matter Bling, which is the backpack, which goes with the Voyager. Or, yeah, the Dark Voyager. You keep going. You have, uh, you know, more emojis, more banners, more V-Bucks. Another loading screen, which is the Raptor character, which is super cool. And we have the next harvesting tool, which is the Trusty Number 2. So, it's a pickaxe in the front, and then it has a Number 2 pencil in the back. So I think that's pretty cool. Ready to pass the test. That's the description for it. So we'll keep moving on. As you can see, we are already at tier 80. These go all the way up to 100. There's 100 tiers versus season 2, which had only 70 tiers. And this is the skydiving trail. This is the flame. This is, I think, the last one. And this one's awesome. This is the one that they actually showed on Twitter, uh, you know, the day before they released Battle Pass Season 3. So that, I thought that was pretty cool. That'd be super hype. That one's pretty cool. We have another outfit called the Elite Agent, which I think goes with the carbon glider that we saw earlier on in the Battle Pass. Keep going through, keep progressing through the Battle Pass. We have more emojis, a lot more V-Bucks, even more loading screens. We have uh, more banners, more XP. We have the robot emote. This thing is awesome. He kills it. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abuse this when I get to it. Oh, yes. And as we get to the end right here, we have a uh, couple more emojis, more V-Bucks, more banners. But the best of all, we have the last skin, which I know everyone's been waiting on. And this is the Reaper outfit. Um, I can tell you right now, this is based off John Wick. I'm up, like betting money this is. This is so cool, man. Like, I, I really like this. I think it's very fitting because they had, what, before they had uh, the, the Rust Lord uh skin which is based off star lord from guardians of the galaxy now they have the reaper which is based on john wick and that's just epic i love that that is so freaking cool so that's what the battle pass has to offer but there is so much more so you guys are probably wondering with only 67 days to complete battle pass season 3 and they added 30 extra tiers compared to season 2 you're probably wondering crisly how am i supposed to complete all this stuff in only 67 days well, along with the Season 3 Battle Pass, they added weekly challenges. And I don't mean a couple more challenges you get to do every week, you know, on top of your daily challenges. I'm talking about they added these. So, you have your free pass challenges, which are stuff like, you know, outlive opponents, play matches with friends, deal damage to opponents, land at different name locations, play 50 matches, reach level 25, and win a match. So those are the free-to-play challenges, so anybody can do those. And then along with the battle pass challenges, they have these, which is deal damage to pistols, search chest in pleasant part, revive players, visit a llama, fox, and a crab. So I know where the llama's at. That's, you know, over by Junk Junction. Let me know down in the comments where the fox and the crab are at, because I would like to complete this challenge. Also, they have something really cool, which I don't know what it means yet. I haven't even looked at it. It's follow the treasure map found in Dusty Depot. So, I'm going to have to check Dusty Depot out and find this treasure map and follow it. 
you know, there's other challenges along with sniper rifle eliminations and eliminate opponents in Fatal Field. So they have really specific challenges which can help you progress through the battle pass a lot quicker. But also, as you notice, they actually have it's every week. So week two unlocks in seven days, week three in 14 days, and so on and so forth, all the way down to week nine. And, you know, as you can see, you can get 50 stars from this one, 50 stars from week two, 50 stars week three, and so on and so forth. So you can progress through the battle pass fairly quickly. You also still have your daily challenges, as you can see here on my screen. Mine's, you know, get shotgun eliminations and outlive opponents. So that's pretty cool. The challenges look pretty interesting, and I'm excited to play them. As you can see here, under week one challenges, under it says zero of seven, it says complete any four challenges to earn the reward item. In this case, it is right there to the right side of the screen. It says 4,000 XP. I'm assuming as the weeks progress the, the that the rewards will get better. Who knows? They might offer pickaxes or they might offer skins. I don't know. So that's just something else that the battle pass has to offer, which I think is super, super cool. So another thing that was added in Season 3, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily the Battle Pass or just in general, is the new Umbrella, the Umbrella Glider, which you get when you win. It says a Victory Umbrella for Battle Royale Season 3. As I said earlier on in the video, I did win uh, a Victory Royale already today. It was my second game, and you get this, which I think is super, super cool. So... That's what the Battle Pass has to offer. That's what Season 3 has in store for us. I'm super excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I do think it is worth buying the Season Pass. I mean, especially from day one. It's only 950 V-Bucks, which if you look at the store, that's $10. Um, I'm not sure if you live in another, you know, if you live in the UK or if you live somewhere else. I don't know what the price would be, but I would imagine it would be very close to the same. So if you get it on day one, I think it's completely worth it. And... This game just keeps getting better and better, in my opinion. So, like I said earlier, if you guys liked the video, drop a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Fortnite Battle Royale content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, Crizzly out.